Hi, my name is Michelle. And I'm Ingrid. And we are with the Essiac Circle of Friends. Today I'm going to show you how to make Essiac tea one gallon at a time. So today we're going to make one gallon and we are using a granite enamel pot like Reen Case used to use back in the day. So add one gallon of filtered or purified water. about an extra cup to allow for evaporation and absorption into the herbs. Bring it to a boil and then we'll add our herbs. Once it's boiling, turn it down to a gentle boil. Add your herbs. This is a half cup, which equals two ounces, and that will make one gallon. Stir it all in there. And we're going to bring that to a gentle boil. And we're going to allow that to boil for 10 minutes. So now that it's gently boiled for 10 minutes, turn the heat off and let the tea brew for 8 to 12 hours. We've let the tea sit overnight and now we're going to heat it up until it starts to steam. Now if you walk away and it comes to a boil and you, for maybe a minute or two, it will be fine. Just turn it off and allow for it to cool and everything to settle back down. If you by chance walk away for 10, 20 minutes and it's boiling, don't throw it out. It will taste different, but it will still be fine. All right, so while we're waiting for the tea to steam, I'm going to prepare the canning jars. And I like to use canning jars because the glass is tempered. So we're going to preheat them since we'll be pouring hot liquid into each jar. So now that the jars are preheated, we're going to pour in the hot Essiac tea. All 
All right, now that it is starting to steam a bit, we're going to turn it off and take it off the heat and let it cool a little bit and everything will start to settle. All right, now that the tea has cooled off a little bit and the herbs have settled to the bottom, we're going to pour it into hot jars. Now I use a, like to use a funnel and you can use a strainer or not, it's up to you, but it will keep the larger pieces out. Now that we have filled the jars with the hot tea, we're going to close them up. Now we're going to place the hot jars aside and let them cool before we refrigerate it. The tea has been sitting for overnight in the refrigerator and it has settled. As you can see there is some sediment at the bottom. Some people just like to drink the tea without the sediment don't stir up the jar, and other people like to shake the jar up and drink their tea with the sediment. The choice is yours. Mm -hmm.